Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. And if it looks like I'm excited this morning, it's because I am. In my hand here is the brand new River 2 from EcoFlow Delta. Now the buzz going around is that this is the best small portable power station that's ever been made. Now I've heard that before, so I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these a little early to be able to do some testing and make up my own mind. The reason I'm putting this video out today, the video, the product was released yesterday, is because I see the introductory limited time price is outrageous. And they are allowing you to use that coupon code plus my promo code to get this unit for just over $200. Now, at that price, I can honestly say that this is gonna be a system I can recommend for everyone, but uh, I've been doing a lot of testing on this thing, so let me show you what I found. This new River 2 from EcoFlow Delta is a part of their small power station series. Now the upgrades from the River 1 have been pretty extreme. This is gonna start with the lack of the top handle. Now, you know that I don't like those top handles because with these small power stations, you can stack them, pack them inside. I'll put it in the camper and sit my phone or a tablet on top of it. The handle doesn't allow you to do that, but they still gave you a rigid handle. You can carry this thing like a lunchbox. Now I'm gonna put the exact size and weight on the screen over here so you can see, but this system weighs less than eight pounds. It is a very, very tiny power station. So what do you get for that size and weight? You get a 256 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery, another upgrade from the River One. This lithium iron phosphate battery is rated for 3000 cycles before it loses 20% of its capacity. Now on these tiny power stations, that's critically important. We're gonna cycle these more. And when you learn about how fast it charges and what kind of discharge capability it has, you'll easily be able to see how many times you will likely cycle a system like this in your life. Even after 3,000 cycles, 4,000, 5,000 cycles, because it's 256 watt hours to begin with, you're gonna end up with more capacity than the competition that's selling their product at this price point. So the value here is huge. You can see why I'm so excited. Now, this rear handle, it's dual purpose. It actually gives a little buffer for this inset fan here, so that if you push this up against the wall, the air can still circulate if the system has to cool. That's a nice design feature. Since the two rear charging plugs are in the back, it's gonna give you a little bit of strain relief on those plugs. So when you shove it into a cabinet, you're not bending on the prongs. So as far as the battery upgrade and the design upgrade, this is a much nicer system than the River One. Now I've been running my River 2 through its paces, trying to get some good data to share with you guys for this video. But truth be told, it took me a few days just to wrap my head around some of the outrageous charging and discharging capability that they're giving you on this unit. They put a 350 watt built-in AC charger on this unit. That means zero to 100% charge in an hour. Now, since the last part of that charge is the slowest, the speeds that you get from zero to 85 are gonna make your head spin. The real world applications for that charging are gonna be endless. But think about if you go to an off-grid campsite with a tent or your tiny camper, you could bring this into the bathhouse and charge it from those outlets zero to 100 in an hour, or in the time it takes you to shave and brush your teeth in the morning, you're gonna be able to get this back up to 80%. You can use it for your CPAP machines, smart TVs, but obviously your tablets, cell phones. I use it for camera gear. This is gonna be really nice. Now, this charger has no brick. They built it into this small system. So you have a simple AC cord that it comes with, but this is the type of cord you can get at any hardware store. There's no special charger that you have to get if you lose it or forget it at home. So there's an added convenience here 
that's really nice with these small power stations. And to give you that kind of charging is just basically unheard of. Now, so far, the River 2 is in a class of its own. I do have the Flash 300 in the mail coming. There's a lot of people that say that new Bouge RV system is gonna give this a run for its money, but I can see just from the paper that there's things that this EcoFlow is gonna be able to do that that Bouge RV is not. But I'll be interested to see the side-by-side -side comparison. Now, they give you a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi app for this small River 2. Now there's going to be a convenience to read the numbers off the screen on your phone. That's really nice. But the big thing that that does is it gives you over the air updates. Firmware is a huge thing on these power stations. And when the companies can run updates, they've already put out one update for this River 2 to allow some of the auto shutoff features to work better and to give you control to set those on the app. So the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth with the over the air, that is a legitimate benefit, even if you don't care about bringing your phone with you when you're camping. Now, finally, before I can get to some of the efficiencies and capabilities on the front of this machine, I just have one more uh, addition to this system that's worth talking about. In my testing, this River 2 has a true uninterruptible power supply. They're modestly advertising an EPS, an emergency power supply, and there's a fine difference there. But in my testing, this is a true UPS. Now, what does that mean if you're new to this? It means you can plug something into the outlet and plug your charger in and it will draw power from the grid, from the wall power. It just passes through the unit into your load, into whatever you have plugged into this. It means it doesn't run the battery. It doesn't cycle it. It doesn't degrade it. It just passes through it. But when the power shuts off, it continues to run the device by quickly switching over to the outlet. Now, a UPS has gotta be really fast. An EPS can be a little slower. So with an EPS, let's say you had a fan plugged into it. With an EPS, the fan would die down for a moment and then start back up, no big deal. But with things like a computer, it'll actually shut off and you'll have to manually start the computer back up. With UPS, it's fast enough that it doesn't shut off. And that is what all of my testing has shown. Now they're not advertising that, so maybe they're hoping that you'll be pleasantly surprised, but that's what my system is showing me. So how do I use that? I plug my Wi-Fi router into this. I plug it into the wall, the system stays charged. It's able to run that Wi-Fi router without affecting this unit at all. We lose, a, we lose power here a lot up here in the woods. When the power goes out, my internet does not reboot. It takes that router like a minute to do a reboot cycle. So if you know the missus is working online or I'm editing videos or uploading things, it's uninterrupted. So that is, again, just a feature that you would not expect on a power station that they're delivering for this price. At this point, I can honestly say, so far this is the best power station in this size class that I have ever seen. Okay, enough with that stuff. What is this thing capable of doing? You have two pure sine wave receptacles. I'll blow this up over here so you can see it. Pure sine wave means you can run that router. You can run your computer if you want to, a smart TV. It's not a mod sign inverter like you see with some of the other competition in this size range. Now the top one has a grounded plug. The bottom one is not grounded, meaning it's a three prong and a two prong. That doesn't matter. It just allows you to fit the ground prong in if you have a three prong plug. It's still a battery system floated ground. Now this will give you a 300 watt continuous capability actually larger than the size of the battery. Very impressive. It can handle 600 watt surges. All of that stuff tested out really well. I was able to run like 275 continuously without resetting the inverter. These are great numbers. But EcoFlow Delta is obsessed with this X-Boost system, which again just boggles my mind. This system comes with X-Boost turned on. That allows you to run a 600 watt load with a 1200 watt surge. I think it's even higher than that. 
Go to the app and turn that feature off. It comes turned on. Do yourself a favor and open your app and shut the X boost off. 300 watts with a 600 watt boost is perfectly acceptable for a system like this. Then do some homework because they do this X boost with electrical witchcraft. The voltage drops, so they boost the amperage in order to deliver the same amount of power. For certain types of loads, I'm thinking like a hair dryer, that's fine. If you have it on the low setting, this will be able to do something like that with X boost on. But I want you to realize that that voltage drop can affect some things. Um, even though this is a small system, you'd never want to run X boost on like an air conditioner or a refrigerator, some microwaves. Certain things are voltage sensitive. I'm surprised that they're even allowed to offer that feature to you. But if you want to do your homework, it is available. This receptacle starts at 120 volts. Yay! A lot of the receptacles on these power stations start at 110, which means if you have some voltage drop on a cord or something, it's more critical. When you start at 120, like the outlets in your house, they give you a threshold for voltage drop. Again, EcoFlow Delta, swinging for the fences with this one. Now on the center over here, they give you two USB A's, the old style, and a 60 watt power delivery port. The power delivery port is gonna allow you to plug your laptops and tablets in directly, get a good fast charge. Surprise, surprise, it's bi-directional. So you can take your laptop charger and charge your EcoFlow River 2 by plugging it into that power delivery port. An amazing feature. How it differentiates itself from others though, is you can't do it simultaneously. So if you plugged your laptop charger in and the wall charger, it just ignores your laptop charger. The wall charger is blazing fast. It doesn't have to be any faster, but it also turns it off on the DC side. If you're charging from your car or you're charging from solar, I would have liked to see them allow me to simultaneously plug a solar panel into the USB-C as well as the back. They didn't offer that on this unit. Now over here, this is an eight amp DC automotive plug. Most of them that you see are 10 amps. Eight amps is still gonna run your refrigerator. It runs my little air pump to fill up a mattress. Eight amps is gonna be good, but if you have some monster DC loads that you plug into these 12 volt ports, you might wanna pay attention to the fact that it will reset at eight amps instead of basically the industry standard of 10. One of the first downsides that I found on this system is that I, I got mid 70% on the efficiency for the receptacle and the efficiency for the DC outlet. I'm usually expecting to get in the low 80s, mid 80s on this system. So I would have liked to see 5% more efficiency on these. Now this can improve with firmware updates, but this is lower than what you usually see with the competition. Doesn't bother me so much on the receptacle for these small power stations, but on the DC side where I'm running my fridge, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery and I'm almost certain it's 12 volts. I'm confused why they're even regulating here. They could have delivered a lot more power, a lot more watt hours through this port uh, than they did with a 75% rating. The saving grace here is that it's an upsized battery. It's 256, it's not a 200. So with those efficiency losses, you're still getting more runtime on those appliances than the competition that costs more money. So it's a, a downside with a silver lining. Now to wrap this video up, because there is a blazing sale going on that's gonna be going on for a limited time, I'm gonna finish up with the solar charging. It's got an XT60, I'll put that over here. Uh, EcoFlow Delta panels are gonna go into an XT60. You can easily get the adapter. EcoFlow sent me the, the XT60 to MC4. Um, you can get an XT60 to Anderson or eight millimeter, very easy to do, but that is the port that they're using for the solar. Since they're gonna cut you off around 30 volts, <clears throat> this is parallel connection. You're not gonna string panels together on this tiny little system. Now for parallel connection, they're gonna give you 110 watts into the system. That's gonna be able to give you a three hour charge time, which is that magic number that most of us are looking for. Now it seems like 
that's a low number, but it really isn't. It just seems that way because of how fast they're giving you a wall charge on this unit. With a three hour charge time, it allows you to oversize the panel. I'm gonna be running like a 160 watt panel on this, and that is a perfectly acceptable solar charge time. So before I sign off and talk about this sale, I do have a promo code I'm gonna include. Um, let's just go over the pros and cons. You heard all about the pros. Blazing fast, built-in charger, excellent design. Um, it's got an app for over-the-air updates and another gadget that you can play with at camp. Pure sine wave inverter, um, UPS. I mean, lots of pros. As far as the downside, let's look to see them do better or make over-the-air updates that give us better efficiency, especially on this DC port. I am a little confused about that. The other downside is that EcoFlow Delta fans have always been annoying. I can say beyond the shadow of a doubt that this one is a huge, huge improvement. It comes on less and it comes on at a much lower decibel rate than the larger EcoFlow systems. But when you are charging it with that super fast wall charger, I can hear that annoying whine that EcoFlow Delta fans make. You're not gonna have that fast charger on when you have this sitting next to you in bed. But uh, if you do, you might notice that too. So folks, there is only a few days of this Amazon deal that is giving you like $60 off this system. They're letting you use my promo code that I will include in my link below. Click the link, add my promo code to the Amazon coupon, and you're gonna be able to get this system for like 80 some dollars cheaper than what it is being advertised as. That is a deal that is worth jumping on. I don't know how long that promo code is gonna be good for. My guess is that this system is gonna land at like $300. It's still a deal at that price. But use that promo code. I'm rushing this video out so you guys can take advantage of that. If you have any questions, if I missed something or you have some feedback, leave it in the comments below. Please use those promo codes because that's what they're there for. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.